guys, what's up? LD Childity here, and today we are celebrating 5 million subscribers. Thank you so much if you are one of the people that has subscribed to my channel, whether you are a veteran Shadow Cadet or if you just found my channel yesterday. I really appreciate all of your support, not just from subscribing, but also watching all of my videos, commenting on them, leaving likes and suggestions. I know some of you also make fan art and fan edits, and it's so nice to see that we have such a lovely community of creative and kind people. And now there are 5 million. So I thought to celebrate this huge milestone, I would hop into a Minecraft world and build the entire history of my channel in Minecraft. So I've spawned here into this empty, super flat world, and we're going to make a kind of adventure map that travels through the history of my YouTube channel. So I'm going to start out by building a start line. Let's build a giant YouTube play button. So this signifies the start of my YouTube channel, which I created on January 9th, 2010. And when I first started my YouTube channel, it looked a little bit different to how it does now. I started out making Call of Duty videos, so it's safe to say that was a pretty dark time in my YouTube history. So let's make a spooky forest. Okay, perfect. Now let's transform this place with some emo grass. Okay, this forest is looking pretty spooky now, but we need to fill it with some of the horrors of this phase of my channel, so... This is what my YouTube channel used to look like in 2011. Here are all my Call of Duty videos. This is what I used to look like. And I had 3,000 subscribers. And this is what I looked like in one of my early videos. And the games on my channel I used to play were Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, and horror games like Amnesia. Yes, me. Oh, how much I've changed. Let's just put some more decorations around here to complete the look. And now this area is complete. Welcome to the start of my YouTube channel in all of its emo glory. If this place had a soundtrack, it would probably sound a little something like this. So let's put a sign here saying the Call of Duty phase. Honestly, may it rest in peace and never come back. Now I did build a path out of here because luckily there is an escape from the Call of Duty phase. So for this next area, I'm building a huge vault because a lot of the videos from this next phase of my channel are now unlisted, so you can't watch them anymore. So welcome to the vault. I will now give you a guided tour. So I have this painting first because when I first started my channel, I was very shy. And in my first video, you can really tell. Hey guys, what's up? This is LD Shadow Lady, and this is my first upload with Zach Scott's server. I'm on Zach Scott's server right now, so this is what I'm recording on. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is dye some sheep blue. So as you can see, this is really early Minecraft. It says in the corner, Minecraft Beta 1.4. And I made an entire video about dyeing sheep blue because they had just added this feature to Minecraft. Oh, oh, wow, that's cute, that's cute. There isn't even a hunger bar yet, this is so old. You might also notice that I had a different Minecraft skin. This is what my first ever Minecraft skin looked like. So that was my first ever Minecraft video. You might also like to see my first ever official intro. And now we move on to possibly the most cringy thing of all. It happened back in Minecraft Beta 1.8.1. My first video with Joel. Yes, that's right. I actually invited Joel to be in one of my videos before we were dating, before I ever told him that I liked him. But I love this video because it's pretty obvious that I had a crush on him. Just listen to this giggle. So if you want to introduce yourselves. I'll go. Hi guys, Small Beans here. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> So that's cute, but also cringy. Okay, moving on from Minecraft videos, I made a Q&A video called Ask LD Shadow Lady. This is what my old room used to look like. It was covered in posters, and I was still in my emo phase at the time. Next, we had Ask LD Shadow Lady 2. Not much had changed. However, later came Ask LD Shadow Lady 3, and I had blue hair. Yeah, what? And if you think that's wild, just wait until you see Ask LD Shadow Lady 4. Brown hair! What? Who is she? And finally here in the vault, I have some Minecraft skins. So this is one of my first Minecraft skins, back when I used to have red hair. And it's got some cute little elf ears. And it's wearing a Scottish tartan pattern, because the server I used to play on when I had this skin was Zach Scott's Scotland server. Then next, we have this skin. This is the first introduction 
introduction of the iconic blue sailor outfit that I use for my skin now. Although I had red hair back then and a weird hat thing. And of course, next we have pink haired Lizzie. This was a skin I had for a very long time, so a lot of you probably remember this one. And that brings us to my skin these days, which is just an evolution of all my previous skins. So now let's exit the vault and move into the next phase. So out here, I'm going to build a little area to represent one of the greatest things on my channel, Shadowcraft season one. First of all, we need a sign and I'm going to build the Shadowcraft logo on here. Ta-da! Who recognizes this? Now we need to add some of the iconic things from Shadowcraft. So let's go behind the sign and build my house. One eternity later. Ta-da! This is my best attempt at the Shadowcraft house. Obviously, things have changed a little bit since Minecraft 1.5.2, but we can still get some of the same things in here. This fire is still just as dangerous as it was in the original Shadowcraft. There we go. And we can still build a little kitchen back here with all the same features as last time. We even have a washing machine and everything. Oh gosh, no, oh my god, no. No! Looks like the fire is working just like it did in Shadowcraft. Oh my goodness. There's just one final feature of the house that we're missing. Down here is my secret chest room, which is actually just the entrance to the Cat Knight Cave. Yes, I had a secret base where I kept a bunch of Komodo dragons with really unusual names. Oh my, what is going on with your tail, sir? So that's it for my house, but Shadowcraft would not be Shadowcraft without a pet graveyard, which I kept outside the back of my house because I had a real problem keeping my pets alive. In fact, we had so many pet deaths that we actually had to extend the graveyard into a mountain at one point just to make room. Rest in peace to all of my unfortunate pets. Now, of course, Shadowcraft was also known for the goat cave and all of the bunnies. So I'm gonna spawn in some bunnies and hopefully they can live in peace with these goats. So that is the Shadowcraft area complete. We'll now move on following the path. And this cute little path actually kind of leads perfectly into the next area, which is going to be for a series some of you guys might not remember called Enchanted Oasis. So this was a server with some of my friends, Vengelf, Cupquake, and Mitty. And this was my first multiplayer series and it had a very whimsical theme. So let me just adjust these skins a little bit. So I'll give myself some antlers. I'll give Vengelf some wings like that. I think Cupquake needs a tail. Let's give her a purple squirrel tail. We'll give Mitty some horns as well. Oh, cute. She looks like a little bug. So for this area, I'm going to build a little replica of my house from the series. Ta-da! This is a mess. This is pretty much what it looked like though. And I remember that this server had a mod which added rainbow trees. So let's get some rainbow trees up in here. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. And back here, like I said, this series was all about magic. So let me put my little witch hat on and make a nice witchy area back here. Yep, I think this sums up this series pretty well. So we should probably build a little sign here that says Enchanted Oasis. There, Enchanted Oasis. Now it's time to leave this behind and move on with our journey through my YouTube channel. So the next stop on the path is right here. This is going to be an area for Minecraft versus the next series I started on my channel where I went head to head against Joel in a bunch of Minecraft challenges. So of course here I'm gonna put a Joel NPC and one for me. And I'm gonna make it so that we're staring each other down because things did get quite competitive sometimes in this series. And of course we kept track of our victory in this series with something we called the totem poles of victory and I will now light up the redstone to display who the winner of this series was and as you might have predicted I won this series with a score of 15 challenges won versus Joel's 7 challenges won and the last thing I'm going to add to this area is a little firework display because we always had fireworks to celebrate the winner of each episode. How cute. Now moving on from Minecraft Versus, we're getting out of here on a rainbow path because I feel like it. 
And this wiggly rainbow path is gonna lead us to the era of build battle. Yes, one of my favorite Minecraft mini games of all time. I made a bunch of videos on build battle where you'd be given a theme, you'd get five minutes to build, and then you have to vote on who built it best. I loved this mini game. So I thought it would be fun here to recreate some of my favorite builds from those build battle videos. So the first one I'm gonna build is this cute lion from this random episode. Wow, that's really basic. Let's move on next. I'm going to build this beautiful peacock. Oh my gosh, it's so majestic. Okay, wait, it doesn't have the tail yet, so it looks a bit weird now. You know what? It actually doesn't look as cute as it did in the past. <laughs> let's move on to the next build over here. So the next build I'm going to recreate is this Beemo build from Adventure Time. Ta-da! That is very much adequate. Now the final build that I'm going to recreate is this goofy looking ender dragon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this looks so goofy. There, I can see now why it didn't win. Okay, so that completes our build battle area. So over the rainbow onto the next area we have everybody's favorite, Shadowcraft 2.0. I built so much stuff in Shadowcraft 2. It's gonna be impossible to recreate it all. So I'm going to attempt to recreate my house. So this is basically what the house looks like. However, little old me decided to build a cool tree house on the side of it, so now I have to build that too. Oh no, it looks really weird. Now, also this house was completely covered in flowery vines and we had fairy lights everywhere. <gasps> oh my gosh, it actually looks pretty close to the original. Now also because this was Shadowcraft, of course, we need the graveyard for all the pets that died. Oopsie daisy. And in front of the house here, I'm going to put a lake. And of course we had a couple of islands on that lake. So on this moon-shaped island, we had a load of bunnies. I think I might've been a little bit obsessed with bunnies. And we also had a heart-shaped island. So I'm gonna build that now as well. And on this beautiful island, I had all kinds of pets, including a panda named Angelina for some reason and a raccoon called Poppy. Now I need a sign somewhere that says Shadowcraft 2, so I shall build it up here. And the Shadowcraft logo was rainbow, so I'm going to do the letters in this hideous rainbow color. I've, oh my god, I spelled it wrong. What's wrong with me? There it is in all of its glory, Shadowcraft 2.0. What a beautiful zone. Now let's move on. So the next stop on the path is here, just a little one. And this is the celebration of reaching 1 million subscribers. That was the next thing that happened on my channel. So let's put some balloons around. Because this was a pretty momentous occasion, I thought we had peaked at 1 million subscribers. Well boy was I wrong. Look at me there in my little tiger onesie. That was four years ago and today we are here celebrating five million. So after hitting one million subscribers, we move on to Crazy Craft. So of course here we have my Disney castle from Crazy Craft and inside my castle had all of my girlfriends and they were so beautiful. Although, to be honest, I haven't seen them in years, so they could look like this by now. Who knows? So one of the coolest things about the Crazy Craft mod pack was all of the backpacks to collect and all the inventory pets. So let's put out a little collection of these backpacks. These aren't really the same backpacks that we had in Crazy Craft, but you get the idea. And I also don't have inventory pets right now. So I'm just gonna use these plushies and pretend that these are inventory pets. And that is pretty much Crazy Craft summed up. So now I need to make a sign. So let's spell out the word Crazy Craft in rainbow. There, cool. And then honestly, this doesn't look crazy enough. I think we need to spawn in a bunch of crazy animals and stuff. Oh my gosh, giant wasps, perfect. Ew. <laughs> Why is the wasp called Larson? Okay, that looks pretty wild. Almost as crazy as Crazy Craft was. That just about does the Crazy Craft series justice. So now we must move on again to another series. The next one is Trollcraft. So my house in Trollcraft was a pink Barbie mansion. So I'm gonna build that first, obviously. <laughs> Why do I always have to be so extra when I build these houses? They're so hard to recreate. So this is my Barbie mansion from Trollcraft. Now my house in Trollcraft was pretty wild on the inside. I collected a lot of crazy and weird things that don't exist anymore in Minecraft. I had a secret basement in which I liked to trap all of my friends and prank them. So I think it would be only fitting to build a prison to trap my friends 
in this house. Oh, poor Joey. And even Joel didn't escape. And let's trap CPK in there as well. And the other thing about Trollcraft was that for some reason, we were all obsessed with chocobos. So let's birth a couple of chocobos around here. Wait, that one's a human. Sorry, William. <gasps> They're so cute. And we also pranked each other a lot in Trollcraft. So let's put some of these troll faces around. Perfect. And we need the Trollcraft logo. Ta-da! That's perfect. The Chocobo is trolling my reveal of the logo. So let's move on next down the path, which I'm still building, to something a little bit different. This next area is going to be for my Disney Princess Challenge in The Sims 4. So I thought it'd be really cute if we could get some of the princesses here. So we started with Snow White. And we need to give her a little Sims plum bob above her head. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. She looks just like a Sim. So after Snow White, we did Belle. Oh my gosh, stop. Could you be any cuter? Let's give her a plum bob. And we also got around to doing Rapunzel. Now let's give them a little bit of decoration. So Snow White, I'm gonna build her a little tree in the background and I'm gonna put apples on the tree. And here's a little poison apple for you, Snow. And Belle is obviously going to have some beautiful bookshelves to satisfy her reading needs. And Rapunzel can have a bunch of floating lanterns. And let's also give her some beautiful flowers as well. Okay, so there is the Disney Princess Challenge from The Sims 4. Oh my gosh, we are getting pretty far now in the history of my channels. So the next thing we are going to build is One Life. And in the first season of One Life, I had a house which I called the Mermaid Palace. So let's recreate the Mermaid Palace. Wow, I remember it took me so long to get all the materials to build this in survival mode. And it is so easy to do in creative mode. Ta-da! So this was my house in the first season of One Life. I had a little moat around it as if that was gonna keep me safe somehow. And I had a skeleton horse. Oh my gosh, I accidentally summoned a baby one. How cute! Uh, my skeleton horse was called Mr. Boney. Now the other thing that we discovered in One Life Season 1 was this hot spring water which absolutely changed the series because it let us regen our health whenever we wanted to. So I'm just going to build a little fountain over here to represent- oh gosh, no that's gone everywhere. So that is my little fountain of youth. And this season of One Life also had horrible danger in the form of baby mobs. So we had baby skeletons, which were horrible, baby spiders. We even had baby witches with evil baby cats. It was horrible, I tell you, but also a really fun series. So now all we need is a logo. So here we have the One Life logo. And that completes this little area. So moving on next down the path, the next build is going to be the fun Funcraft series. So this is a mini version of my Funcraft house. So now we just need to put inside everything. Oh no. <sighs> everything that made this series iconic. So some of my custom crafting tables. These three were my favorite and now I can craft some fairy lights to light this place up. And over here I'm gonna put down some hat stands so that we can display my favorite thing from this series. All of the Disney hats. Look how cool they are. It's so cute. And there is another thing that I will never forget from Funcraft. So I suppose we better spawn one in over here. I'm basically crafting a prison right here for the evil shady merchant because he scammed me and I will never forget it. Now all we need is a logo. There we go. I thought we'd do something a little bit different for this one just to spice things up. I think that looks really cute. So that is the fun craft area complete. Let's move on to the next series, which was another season of One Life. This time I settled in a huge field of lavenders, so I better get planting. So here I have created a little mini lavender land and boom, there is my mushroom house. And one iconic thing from One Life 2.0 is of course my fairy horse selling business. So let's summon in one of these beauties. And perhaps the most important fact about One Life 2.0 is that I died in this series and therefore got banned from the server. So let's build me a little grave. May I rest in spaghetti. And this time for the logo, I went for a very pink theme instead. 
And that is One Life 2.0. So moving on to the last stop on our tour, we reach Kingdom Craft. So here's my little miniature Alpine Kingdom. And now we just need to go underground to build my base. So this is pretty much what my first base looked like. I had a cute little bunk bed and of course my ice throne. Over here in the corner we've got Cat Jeremy and then on here we'll put all of my decorative heads including my two parrots. May they rest in peace with the death of the Kingdomcraft server. Oh and my base was also full of mushroom cows. So I'm gonna call them Mushroom Jeremy as well. And the final touch in here is some of the villain artwork that the supporters of the League of Villains made. Wow, it feels like I'm back in Kingdom Craft again. Okay, so that is the Kingdom Craft area complete, which brings us to today reaching 5 million subscribers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little celebration of the channel. It has been so fun looking back at all of the things we've done together over the years. So leave a comment below letting me know when you found out about my videos and what you remember from the history of my channel. And I will see you in the next video.